In this lesson, we're going to take a look at multiplication and the traditional algorithm method. We have a variety of standards that we're looking at in this video. We're also looking at this worksheet. You can go to worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com to print out a copy of this worksheet for yourself. And you can find it under our multiplication section. And it's entitled the traditional algorithm method. We have four different problems and here are the directions. Solve the following problems using the traditional algorithm method. Well, let's take a look at number one. Number one, we have 829 times 7. So I'm going to rewrite this problem. And what you do with the traditional algorithm method, or this is the old standard method that I learned when I was going through elementary school, still works. Uh, it's tried and true, but it's different than our lattice uh, method, the distributive grid method. And it's a lot different than estimation, of course. If you want more information on those methods, check out worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com. We have videos and worksheets based on those methods, too. So let's start this. We have 829 up top. And uh, below that, we have the digit 7. So what we're going to do on this lower number, we're going to it always we're going to start multiplying by this one. So we've got 7. We've got that 7 right there. And we're going to multiply it first by the 1's place, and then by the 10's place, and then lastly by the 100's place. Let's take a look at how this works. We've got 7 times 9. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, I know that one. That's 7 times 9 is 63, and you'd be exactly correct. So good for you. Then what do we do? We, in the 63, we put the 3 underneath the 1's place in this case. And then the 6, we carry that up above the next digit over, or the next, next, next place over. So then we've got 7 times 2 is 14. And 14 plus 6 is 20. Keep the 0 down here. Carry up the 2. Now we're going to multiply 7 times 8. So 7 times 8 is 56. Plus 2 would be 57, 58. And we'll have to add in our comma over here. 1, 2, 3 places over. And there's the comma. And there you go. That was quick. And the solution or product to this multiplication sentence is... 5,803. Let's move on to the next one. We have a three-digit number, 293, and we're multiplying that by a two-digit number, which is our 90. Well, just like the previous problem, we had a three-digit by a one-digit number. We start over here working with the place that's all the way to the right on the lower number. In this case, it's 90. And we have 0 that we're going to start with. So 0, we're, again, we're going to multiply by the 1's place, the 10's place, and the 100's place. So let's go. We'll try that. Now, anyone who's worked with zeros before in multiplication, you know the 0 property. Anything multiplied by 0, or 0 multiplied by the number, would equal 0. So if you're thinking that, awesome, awesome good for you. So we've got 0 times 3 is 0. And 0 times 9 is 0. Last of all, we're multiplying the 0 by the 2 in the 100's place. And that would also be 0. Good for you. Now, this is where it gets a little bit different. In this case, we're going to be multiplying by this 9 in the 10's place of 90. We're going to multiply it by the 1's place of the top number. In this case, we've got 9 times 3 we'll do first, followed by 9 times 9, then 9 times 2. So let's give it a try. 9 times 3 is 27. So we take the 7, and since we're multiplying by the tens place, we're going to drop it down, and that 7 will be in the tens place. Since it was 9 times 3 is 27, the 2 gets carried over to the next place over from what we multiplied by. So now we can multiply 9 times 9. 9 times 9 is 81. So if you're thinking that, good for you. 81, 82, 83. And we'll kind of follow that pattern. Uh, 83, we'll put the 3 here. 
in the ones place of 83. We take that and then we carry uh, the 8 up here, place it above the 2, and now we'll multiply once again. So we did 9 times 3 first, 9 times 9, and now we're working on 9 times 2 is 18 plus this 8 that we have. All right, so we've got 18 plus 8. So uh, let's see, that would be 26. And now we have an extra step that we didn't have in the first problem. And we're going to add up these numbers. Now, a lot of times people put in, in this place here, a little placeholder zero. You can do that. That's, that's fine if that works for you. Makes it a little e easier to keep track of where your um, products go as you work through multi-digit multiplication. So, but now we're going to go ahead and add these. So we've got zero plus zero in this case. You're probably thinking, oh, I know that. That would be zero. You're, you'd be correct. Now we've got zero plus seven. Seven. Zero plus three equals three. Six plus essentially nothing would be six. And then we have two plus zero would be nothing. In every whole number, our decimal point is after the ones place. That's good to know that. It's a good reference point in when you're working with numbers and place value and such. So now we're going to jump over one, two, three places and we'll drop our comma right in there. So our product in this case would be 26,370. Now we'll move on to the third problem. We've got 981. Again, I'll take some time and write this down. We've got 981 times 59. And if I'm going too fast for you, feel free to pause the video and resume when you're ready. So here we go. So we're going to deal with this 9. We always start with the last digit all the way on the right of the lower number. So in this case, we've got 9 in the ones place of 59. So let's multiply. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 8 72. 9 times 9 is 81. And 81 plus 7 would be 88. Then we're going to multiply 5. We're working with that 5 next, right here. 5 times 1 would equal 5. If you want your placeholder zero there, you can do that. 5 times 1 again was 5. 5 times 8 equals 40. And we're going to put our 4 right there. 5 times 9 equals 45. Plus 4 would be 49. Add those up. And here we go. 9 plus 0 would be 9. 2 plus 5 equals 7. 8 plus 0 equals 8. 8 plus 9, you're probably thinking 17, good for you. Then we're going to add up 4 plus 1 would be 5. So in this case, our number would be hip hop. Drop the comma right over here. So we've got 57,879 would be our product for number 3. And we'll look move on to the last one. We've got a three-digit number multiplied by a three-digit number. So you can see the difference. Jump back, we had a three digit by a two digit number three. And number four, we have a three digit by a three digit number. So we'll rewrite those. We've got 237 times 256. And we're working with the six here in the ones place. Again, it's all the way to the right of this lower digit. It's the last digit on the right. And we're going to multiply by the ones, by the tens, and by the hundreds place. 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 3 is 18. 19, 20, 21, 22. 6 times 2 is... Whoop, we almost forgot a step there. Let me back up a second. So we've got 6 times 3 is 18. Plus 4 would be 22. We've got 2 in the ones place of 22 and 2... In the tens place of 22, we carry up and over. So we've got 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 is 
14. Then we're going to move, work with these. <laughs> See how we're moving right to left on this lower number? We're, we're going to multiply the 5 times the 1's place, the 10's place, and the 100's place. 5 times 7 is 35. And then we have 5 times 3 is 15, 16, 17, 18. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. Almost there. So now we're working with the 2 in the hundreds place of that lower number. So we've got, we're gonna, again, we're going to multiply 2 times the 1's place, 2 times the 10's place, and 2 times the hundreds place. So here we go. 2 times 7 would be 14. And we'll carry the 1 next door. 2 times 3 would be 6, plus 1 would be 7. 2 times 2 would be 4. And we didn't really have anything to carry over. because Remember, the last place was... We did 2 times 3 was 6, plus 1 was 7. Nothing to carry over, so we've got 2 times 2 is 4. And that's what we're left with. Now... We're going to add these all up. Let me make, make that a little bit straighter. Add these all up. And again, if you wanted to, you know, put those place all those zeros in there, it makes it easier to keep track of where your digits are. That's fine. So now we can add two plus nothing would equal two. Two plus five equals 7, 4 plus 8 equals 12, 12 plus 4, 4 equals 16, good, if you're thinking that, good for you. And then we've got 7, 8, 9, 10, carry the 1, and we've got 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 1 more would be 6, and there you go, there's your product, 60,672. So that was a quick look at the traditional algorithm method and we use that worksheet that you can you can find at, at www.worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com and print yourself out a copy if you'd like and so thank you for checking out worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com and we will see you again next time next time